Hey guys, Panda back with you. Welcome back to the channel. And we are going to check out more on this uh, champion point tree and kind of where things stand right now. Um, I'm kind of sticking with the uh, similar build I had prior to this update. I have a uh, dual wield daggers for the increased critical and on the other bar I have my bow. I am a 100% stamina build. Okay, everything is put into stamina. Now the interesting thing I see here is how I spent things out on the new uh, champion point tree I have lower critical ratings, but I definitely have higher damage. I mean, interesting. I mean, I've got no magicka or anything going on here at all. And I've got some pretty decent spell damage. So that really makes me uh, versatile. However, on my bar, I do equip the only magicka ability I have equipped on my bar is the enchanted growth. And that's it. You know, I have that on both bars. This build with my bow is primarily, you know, for AOE damage. So, man, I don't know. Um, I have not gone and tested this out yet because I'm still, you know, trying to look stuff up and see exactly what I want to do, but... As far as uh, champion points go, let's take a look here. Now, over on craft, the direction I went, obviously, you have to put some points into uh, some of these lower ones so you can open up other lines to follow. But the main ones, actually, I only have two that I uh, slotted so far, and that is uh, disassembly. You know, if you're extracting all the extra junk and crap that you have. I really don't need that one necessarily. But this one up here, 10% increased amount speed. And I did notice a difference in that today when I was out there uh, going and uh, collecting some of the resource nodes. I did not notice an increased speed in getting those resource nodes, however... So, and of course, you know, I haven't really been playing the game. I pretty much just kind of just came back. You know, I'm really kind of stoked for this one here, especially for the uh, companion system that will be coming out uh, on the next uh, drop, you know, what, uh, end of May, first part of June. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, come back out and see what I've done here. Uh, on Warfare... And I talked about this on a previous video. These uh, purple points, if you click on these specifically, you have like a little separate mini tree and you can put points in these, okay? So, yeah, you know, once you get that, you know, massive amount of uh, CP points built back up, I was at like just under 830. So, yeah, not too much to go on there, but... What I put my points into was Endless Endurance to give me more stamina. Untamed Aggression to increase my weapon and spell damage. And Reaving Blows. I have not tested this one out yet. But when you deal direct damage, you heal for 7% of the damage done. Now, direct damage, I would assume, is your main skills, right? Is that what it's supposed to be? Your main abilities? Is that not direct damage? If I'm wrong, you know, leave a comment, let me know. But I believe, what else would direct damage be? It does not specify exactly, so I'm going to assume that's what it is. But then up here, Wrathful Strikes gives me more weapon and spell damage to my damaging abilities, which I would assume is my main primary abilities. Now, when I'm kind of torn between, even though we have only four slots up here, is 
you could sacrifice one or maybe two of these. I don't know. I don't know why you'd want to sacrifice more weapon and spell damage. Or increase stamina or magicka, you know, depending on what direction you go. Yeah, but, you know, all of these, you have so many different things that you can choose between slotting in your tree or your uh, your four primary ability slots per section on your uh, champion point tree. What I found compelling, though, is if you come over here, depending on the type of build that you want to make, all right? You know, if you're doing primarily area of effect attacks, you can increase your damage overall, I would imagine, by, what, 10%? Yeah, it's 2% per stage. You got five stages, so 10% there. Or you could do uh, damage over time or direct damage. You know, if you couple this damage increase with increasing your overall damage, weapon, and spell damage, that could be pretty freaking powerful. But it's applied to only the type of uh, play style that you're doing from what I can see. I will test these out and try to find out for myself. But this is kind of what I'm working on for my stamina warden right now. And, uh, yeah, I have not even gone back to my werewolf build yet. On one of my uh, bars here, actually, was my werewolf setup, or I should say my ultimate and whatnot. But right now, I'm just going to use the uh, grizzly bear on both for now until I figure out what the hell is really going on. But yeah, going back to the uh, champion point tree, come down here to fitness. This one here, I, I don't know. This one, uh, had to go through different point systems here. Movement speed. You can kind of choose what you want to do. But you can get more, uh, I went, yeah, the increased uh, movement speed. Well, obviously didn't have a choice with that. And then Heroes Vigor, Max Health, one of my slotted ones, Bloody Renewal, 300 stamina per stage whenever you kill an enemy. That's pretty damn good. Especially if you're killing enemies like in, say, two or three uh, hits at a time. And then, of course, I went over here with, uh, I think, the easier ones. Give myself more health, more armor, and more... Health, Magicka, and Stamina Recovery. Now, I mean, they may not be necessary to do that. I mean, there is so much more that you could choose between. It just depends on what your play style is going to be. I mean, look at this. You can only choose between four abilities. If they say add the Champion Bar to activate right down at the very bottom. So... You know, I suppose maybe is a tank. You know, if you're under crowd control, uh, that would make sense, most definitely. Break free. Uh, yeah, you know, it's kind of a... Man, there's just like so much diversity here to have some really hybrid builds. I think we're really going to see a lot of that come out. I'm actually really excited to get more active in the game rather than just, uh, you know, logging into the game to, uh, you know, do my uh, daily uh, crafting quest and everything else. But that's something else, too, I want to point out. You know, make sure you guys are uh, reallocating all your skill points. I've got a long ways to go on mine. But yeah, don't uh, forget about all your crafting stuff here. Fortunately, I have only one main crafter. But, you know, I have a bunch of other tunes that do the daily crafting writs. So, yeah, make sure you're getting all your points put back in. Appropriately, according to the level you are at. 
and of course uh, something else too you know I mean all the way through here get all your points put back in so yeah I will do a follow-up video testing out this build I have right now you know for a uh, duration of time you are able to go back and change your selections on these trees if I recall right well yeah you can redistribute so you'll be able to do that for a uh, cost-free small period of time you know while everyone figures out what's going on so anyways hope you guys are all uh, enjoying the new update having fun uh, <laughs> resituating all of your uh, many tunes and I'm sure you all have I know I have uh, like eight more at least that I have to uh, do the same thing on my god but yeah kind of liking it ESO has always been kind of a break away from all the other monotonous grind and stuff that goes on with every other MMO or action RPG that I play so anyways hope you guys are uh, doing good and keeping safe and I'll get another video out there for you soon. Take care.